We have some signature strategies that we do in our district, and we've done them for several years. And if it's one thing Dr. Baker said to you this morning, you're going to hear of some things and you're going to want to try all of them, you won't be able to try all of them. I'm going to say to you, if it's one thing I would love you to try, it's some strategies that we do with the children's names. If you were going to come back, if this was a workshop and you were going to come back next week to me, I would say to you, your homework is to go do, say, the, the attendance that I'm going to show you with their name cards. Because you would come back to me and you would say, how does that work? And I'd say, don't know, but it just does. And it has to do with their names. You know, it's much more interesting to learn letters with their names than it is just random words. So this is what we discovered years ago. So I'm going to show you something that our teachers do in kindergarten, and we do it in TK, and it was appropriate for my pre-K children as well. They all learn at their level, and it's called the name game. Oh, this is going to be an issue for me. Okay. Um, no, just a slide. You have, you have this in your PowerPoint. Don't worry about taking notes. Um, it's a, a very powerful strategy. Nothing that I tell you is going to sink in until you do it. You know how we learn by doing, just like our children learn by doing. But it's an amazing strategy. It's highly engaging. It's meaningful to the students because they're talking about their names. It's a cl whole class activity. When we had 32 kindergartners, it was the one strategy I could do and had all their attention the whole time. Uh, it connects phonemic awareness to phonics in a wonderful way. It's like the jump off point to interactive writing, which is equally my favorite thing. Name game, interactive writing, it's amazing. And Nicole will give you a little snippet on that later on. Um, it, uh, the isolation of sound aids in foundational reading and writing. When I first started doing this, we had no phonics program. It was the whole language time. So it was whole language versus phonics people. They need both. And it needed to be. This was done in a very complete way. 